hello welcome back whether you're watching on the youtube channel or you're listening on the podcast don't forget to like subscribe share comment all the things so today we're going to talk about alchemy i know alchemy is such a hot trendy word but really the way I'm going to be using it and the way a lot of people mean it is in terms of manifesting, in terms of taking the energy that you have or taking the energy that you're receiving or creating and then transmuting it, alchemizing it, transforming it, repurposing it into something that helps you. So the concept behind this is that all energy is useful to us, right? Whether we are feeling a negative emotion or a positive emotion or something bad happens to us or someone says a bad thing to us, whatever, we can still use that energy and transform it into energy that will support our goals. So I'm going to give you a quick little six step process. This six step process focuses on transforming your beliefs. So if you're trying to manifest anything, if you're trying to accomplish any type of goal in your life, chances are you're going to have to change your beliefs. So if you're able to take the beliefs you have now, take the thoughts you have now and transform them into better thoughts that actually help you accomplish your goals, then that's going to help you get to where you want to be a lot faster. That's why I'm going to give you this simple six step process. Now, this process is something that I have made from watching other creators, reading books, making my own judgments um, and concepts and kind of a combination of everything I've learned, everything I've experienced, the things that I've seen and how I feel it should be. Use it however you need to and change it however you need to. The first step is identifying the problem. What is the problem? Why am I feeling this way? What am I trying to solve? Why do I want this? Like, what's, what's the issue? That's the first step you need to take because you need to be very clear as to what you're alchemizing, what you're transforming, what you're repurposing, what you're recycling. I like to use the word recycle because it's just cute. It makes the most visual sense to me. And I love visual representations of what I'm doing with my energy. So you're recycling the energy. You're taking this energy, you're crushing it down into the bare minerals, the bare matter into dust, and then you're building it up into something new that you like that's better. Step number one, what's the problem? Step number two is the incantation. So this can be an incantation, an affirmation, a mantra, a phrase, a song, whatever you want to call it. It really doesn't matter. Basically, you're going to verbally affirm what your intention is, what you desire, the support that you require. You're, you're essentially verbally calling in the resources. If you want specific affirmations or you want specific mantras, I post them on my Instagram all the time. Pretty much every day I'll post an affirmations video. So you can go on there and take those as inspiration to create your own kind of affirmation or incantation, whatever you want to call it. Then the third step is creating your best case scenario. You can do this by journaling. You can do this by creating more affirmations, more mantras, you're going to want to visualize it as well. You want to be able to imagine whatever it is that you're creating because that also helps you feel a certain type of way. Different versions of a best case scenario can be imagining what it would be like when this problem is solved or how it would look like if this wasn't a problem. The situation that could happen that would make this almost irrelevant, okay? Get creative here. Think about what the best case scenario for your problem would be. And from there, you move on to step four, which is the feeling of it. I've told you this before, but when you're manifesting anything, it all comes down to how you're feeling. When you're alchemizing, when you're doing any sort of energetic, mental, emotional process, you need to be able to feel something, okay? You need to be able to feel 
your intention manifesting itself. People love doing all kinds of rituals for this purpose. People love doing journaling exercises, visualization exercises, meditations. There's so many options for you here. The point is for the time that you are meditating, for the time that you are spending living your life, you want to feel almost as if you already have this problem solved, as if you already have this solution, as if you already have this best case scenario thing here available to you. You want to take the mindset that the solutions are already there, the answers are already there. So if the problem is already being solved, you don't need to worry about the problem anymore. You need to live your life and deal with each thing as it comes. The fifth step is doing. This is where your actions are gonna back up your words. So you are saying, okay, I call this in. You did your affirmation. You did your incantation, right? You visualized your best case scenario. You called in the resources. You felt the feeling of it. Now you have to act like it. Now you have to walk as if your problem is solved. Okay, this is not being delusional. This is not being fake. This is taking a different perspective to your problem. So if you're having some kind of emotional issue, this is identifying what the insecurity is, identifying what the negative emotion is, figuring out how to make that emotion irrelevant. What would be the best case scenario where you wouldn't feel that negative emotion or where that negative emotion wouldn't exist? How would you feel if you didn't have that belief? If that emotion never happened? If that trigger never triggered you? You get to imagine and create these scenarios and these realities and then you get to act like it's happening. When you combine all of this together, you're tricking yourself in a way, but you're also creating something. Because whenever you're in the first steps of creating something new, it's going to seem crazy, it's going to seem delusional. Whenever someone has a new idea for something, typically the people around them are like, oh, that's crazy, um, I don't know if that's gonna work, it just doesn't make sense. But then when the person stays persistent and they keep trying and they finally create results, then they're like, oh, he did it. I knew he could do it. I knew she could do it. Wow, such a hard worker. Wow, they manifested that. Wow. But then in the moment, you're like, well, how did you think I manifested that? Because I was doing this the whole time. So that's what you need to start doing is you need to start acting as if you have faith even before you have faith. So by kind of forcing yourself to act a certain type of way or taking that leap of faith, you, if you want to call it that, you're showing yourself that you know you can do it and you know it's going to work out and it's almost like you're going to enjoy it now anyways. So if you've done all of these steps, then you move on to the sixth step, which is normalize it. How do you normalize something? You express gratitude and you assume that it always gets to be this way. This is where your affirmations can come in. You can say, oh, I'm so grateful that I always get compliments or that everything always works out for me. I'm so grateful that no matter how it looks, I always end up winning. I always end up succeeding in what I wanna do. I always end up making good decisions. I always end up making everyone around me proud. I always accomplish what I wanna do. I always feel happy. I'm so grateful that I can feel happy even if I don't physically have everything I want right now. You can also manifest emotions, right? You don't, also, you don't just have to manifest outcomes, you can manifest feelings. And oftentimes if you manifest the feeling first, the material things will just kind of come because you're not putting so much attention on it anymore. It's crazy how things happen, but that is a very simple six step process to essentially alchemize any negative problem that comes up, any challenge, any limitation, any obstacle that comes up, at any step of the process, you'll be able to take that approach universally and be able to kind of turn a negative into a positive for you, okay? So like I said, feel free to change it up however you want to. If you have any questions about it, you can always let me know in the comments or email me 
don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video if you found it helpful because maybe someone else you know will find it helpful too. I love you. Have a good one. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.